Today is uh, July 17th, 2019. I'm doing a garden update. Uh, you may have noticed that I skipped last week's update and uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, if you enjoy these updates, if you would uh, uh, give me a thumbs up and a like, that would be appreciated. Then I know, you know, it encourages me to keep going. Um, we're facing some hot weather here in Missouri. Um, we haven't had rain for some time. I've had to start to water things by, uh, you know, by hand. I've used up all my rainwater some time ago. But uh, I was going to make the point that we only had a 15% chance of rain. Uh, and I've been praying for rain, but how do you like that? I come out to the greenhouse to do my video and boom, it's starting to sprinkle. So that's an answer to prayer. I'm, I'm, I'm praying for an inch of rain. I, <laughs> I don't know if I have that much rain faith, but uh, it would sure be awesome for the garden. So uh, I'm going to give a garden update. I may have to go get my umbrella to do it. There's a lot to talk about and a lot to show you and uh, today is one of my sister's birthday so happy birthday uh, you know who you are and uh, it's pretty awesome and today is the 17th so what is that it's Q day but uh, unless you're up with that you won't even know what I'm talking about but it's interesting uh, interesting days and times that we're living in okay here, let me show you what's happening in the greenhouse and I'll, I may do some cutting and pasting of this video, well, like normal, because of the rain. I have to get an umbrella. So I still have my flag up, one of them. I took one of the, my smaller one inside, but I still have one of my flags up in the greenhouse. Uh, it's a day, to, you know, it's a season to be, to love your country. and. Of course, I say God bless America. You know, that's a prophetic statement. Wherever you live, you should be proclaiming that over your country because it releases a blessing on the land. And by gosh, we all want to be blessed. So, a beefsteak tomato. Wow. Look, I need to water these. I haven't been out in the greenhouse too much of late because of the heat. Um, today it's a little bit cloudy, so it's not too bad, but uh, been doing a few other things and there's always tons of things that need to get done and always different stuff happening. But look at this. That is bok choy. That is an amazing, I mean, that it's doing so well. So I'll have to figure out where to plant that. Oh, something's already been in here chewing on it that's not good so i got a few of those bok choys growing and i need i haven't i don't have a plan oh i do have a plan i think i'm going to plan plant these uh behind my greenhouse here i'll show you in a second so it's not raining too bad it seems to have stopped we'll see if it picks up i will uh, cut off the video and do it again but look now the mint is doing fantastic. I need to figure out where I want to plant some of this out, you know, uh, so it can expand. And, uh, you know, you got to be careful where you plant mint. Look at that lettuce. Looks like it's going to seed, but this is, this uh, lettuce here is fantastic lettuce. I have a, a bit of it in the fridge right now. And you can see the basil. I really need to get out and, uh, Take some of these leaves and dry them out. You can see how they're going to seed. And if I if I don't get these leaves off of these plants, I'm going to lose them. And uh, you might see that little white in there. I somewhere I heard that onions and garlic have a tendency to keep bugs away. And uh, so I those are some stalks from my onion plants. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not we'll see now 
Guys, look at that okra. Now, that has really taken off. From um, the last time you saw it to this time. Now, here in a, a few weeks, I should start to see okra flowers, and then I'll get okra. But in August, I'll have lots and lots of okra. And that's quite a bit of okra, actually. It looks doesn't you know it doesn't look like that much, but it'll produce. And the corn, here, let's look at this. This corn, look how dry, look how black that is. I only have one hand, so. Can you see that? Looks like I can pick that corn. So maybe I'll eat some corn for lunch. Yeah, that's a great idea. So the corn is now, looks like it's edible. I can pick some of it. Look at that, the heat, the heat is uh Now this is one I've been trying to keep watered, but even so the heat's getting to it. Now, I understand that 100 degree weather is coming up on us here the next few days. I, I pray not. I don't need 100 degree weather, but I guess we would end up calling it the dog. Look at that watermelon vine. That's only one vine, but look how it's going up. Now we'll see. We'll see. Oh, look. Can you see this? A itty bitty watermelon. So I see two of them. So I really need to keep watering. In fact, I need to feed this. I need to add some uh, food for it. So, man, the wind. Right now there's a little breeze and it's, it feels nice. And uh, the reason I say that is it's been feeling pretty. Now look. Oh, ah, that... I like these, I don't like the, I need to be able to walk through here so I can't have my vine blocking my path. But it's, look at that mass of cucumbers. Oh, a bee. That's fantastic. I haven't seen a lot of bees, but I need them. They need to, you know, pollinate my, the flowers for me. The flowers are so awesome. Without flowers, you never get fruit. So don't uh, belittle flowers. You know, so, sometimes I have belittled flowers in the past, but uh, I'm coming to realize they're crucial for life. Well, I picked some of these tomatoes. I don't see any maybe, you know, turning red, but these are beautiful tomatoes here. I've got a couple over here I can pick. You see? Look. Here, I'll pick this one. Can you see that? And that's a beautiful, even though this will get darker, right now I've noticed that these are tasting awesome. They're turning. So as you can see, they're turning on the vines, so that makes them sweeter. And these are a Brandywine, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are Brandywine pink. Uh, tomatoes are red. Anyway, but they're Brandywine. You can, you can tell by the, the leaf, I think. Well, anyway, whatever they are, I love them. And you can see that my squash, I've noticed that all my squashes have been decimated. Um, the uh, squash bugs are, I'm pretty sure that's the culprit. I need to come out here and spray this with soap. And I'm a bit, I guess you could say I'm a bit late on taking action because look it's uh it's dying that's not good so i may not really get much squash anymore much at least the yellow squash and the zucchini i may get some other i'll show you in the back man i can't really penetrate these mines i'm i was wanting to show you i have cucumbers all over the place and i was wanting to show you one but Well, there's a little one there, but that's not very impressive. I've got a fridge full of cucumbers. Maybe I'll put them in a bowl and take a photo later. Oh, there's a buzzing of a bee in my ear. But it didn't bite me. I mean, didn't sting me. So I'm looking. Oh, look at that corn. 
So I may have to cut some, I mean, pick some of that corn in there. It's looking desperate. I keep looking. I hope you guys don't mind. There's a cucumber. Can you see him? Yeah, that's a nice one. Here, let me show you. Oh, right behind that corn leaf. Here, you see that? I feel like I've been fishing. Fishing in a wall of green that came out with a, a cucumber instead of a fish. But there's some cucumbers in there. I even had some cucumbers on uh, these vines over here. Now, uh, every other day I'm watering these plants by hand. Now, if we get a good rain, in fact, it's, the sprinkle has stopped. But uh, Lord willing, it'll come back. But uh, I don't even mind doing a uh, video under an umbrella if I would get water for my garden because it's in desperate need of a good watering. But anyway, tonight I'll water the front and then tomorrow I'll water the back little big pieces of garden. Every other day is my plan. Um, I'm not seeing tons of, uh, well, a few beans in here. You can probably see that one over there, but there's not a lot. Now there's actually some uh, cucumbers in here. Um, you see that one? Can you see them? Here, let me lift it up for you. That one, I could leave it another day. But it's not looking too bad. There's plenty there to it. But it looked kind of thin at one end. Now I do try to water the things in containers every day. But I don't always get over to here. So there's some, the rutabaga are ready to be picked. I should, here, let's see if I can, oh, you see that watermelon? That's beautiful, here. I don't know, uh, you see that? Uh. Oh. Let's leave those leaves there. So, the vines have got into my rutabaga. But, uh, there's one. Some dirt on the end. So you kind of, you can cook these up like a potato kind of, you know, you, at least that's the way I know how to do it. This is really dry. But anyway, so there's one of the rutabagas, just letting you know what it looks like. And it looks pretty dry. So it's opened up. Oh, let go that vine. We'll put that vine over there. Do you guys see that watermelon right there? So finally, I've got little watermelons showing. And that means I really need to water out here. Huh. Here, I'll come back for these later. Let's go through here. I want to show you out front. Hello. Okay. Look, I love that vine. Do you see that cucumber vine on my fence? I just love that. How that, oh, now that's a watermelon vine there. But I love it. And I even have a nice cucumber. You see that? That one's ready to be picked for sure. So hanging from my fence. So I like that. I don't know if you can see how dry the ground is. And there's another one. A nice cucumber. So, now you may not remember, but this area out here was quite a mess. So, I've had a bit of a focus on it. I've came out, these are the flowers that I had started from seed, I came out and planted the rest of them. And, uh, I just planted that, that pumpkin right there. I put a, 
as you can see I put a uh, wire mesh around it hopefully it'll grow up instead of you know taking over everything but anyway these are some wood chippers if you remember my wood chipper I had a lot of branches that I chipped up to make some mulch here and so we'll see we'll see how this this has just been planted this week a couple you know uh, yesterday the day before now you can see how uh, this anyway something has been taken out these uh, squash plants now what I find interesting is that the squash plant that I had that little piece of plastic around and I only did that to one of my squash plants out here that one seems to be doing better that little bit of protection seems to be helping no I haven't been coming out to water these plants really I mean they're way out here there is one yellow squash in there but here look at this oh I don't know if you can see that but that's a really red tomato over here now this is can you see that apple tree so that vine is right below that apple tree I don't get in here very often into that area of the garden but look there's some tomatoes in there so that means I do have tomatoes to pick just in this difficult area to get to I'll have to crawl in there now I do try and look at that nice computer so oh wow there's three four there's a few uh, cucumbers that want to get picked saying pick me the beautiful and now these little cherry tomatoes are very nice I've been eating a few not not an abundance of cherry tomatoes but a few so maybe here in a week I'm gonna have a, a lot of um, tomatoes all right now I'm I've, for about a week a week and a half I've been picking a few tomatoes not a lot just a few and I've given away a few but uh, I've got some tomatoes I don't think I'm necessarily going to have enough tomatoes to can this year but we'll see but I have had a, a huge crop of onions now I still have these onions out here that I've let go and they seem to still be growing so I'm wondering how big they'll get for me I haven't been feeding them normally you need to feed onions pretty strong and you can see how this cantaloupe plant is coming way out I saw some cantaloupes uh, the other day little ones I don't know if I'm gonna be able to point one out to you okay this is the front and I have also noticed that my peaches a lot of them been knocked onto the ground are not good and bad and I've, I noticed that it seems the squirrels have been uh, messing with the peaches so I don't know if I'm gonna actually get any of these peaches to eat which which is sad but uh, anyway that seems to be the way with things a lot of times and I haven't been watering the tree um, and you can see the peaches are still pretty small so here we are in the backyard uh, these cucumbers have been producing and uh, in the end all of those collard greens were eaten by bugs I never did pick any of them but I've got lettuce in the front yard and that's plenty look at that it's a beautiful cucumber and there's another one so I've been getting some cucumbers off of this vine or these vines I think there's five or six of them there they've really spread out <clears throat> now the sun's back out in fact I feel the heat the heat is like striking me and this peach tree it's really starting to come into a lot of foliage I had cut that back so extreme so it's it's good to see oh look at that can you see that that's the biggest watermelon I have I've seen so I really need to water this watermelon vine I, th I think this is just one vine and <clears throat> I'm sure there's ways to manage it better but I have just left it alone 
and I think some people say to cut them back and stuff but I'm not really an expert on that type of thing so we'll see and you can see that my rice experiments have been a total fell it looks like I need to add maybe some more uh, oil to the surface of the water to you know to keep anything from growing in the water but the other day I actually found a frog in fact if we look close we might see a frog now so I had a frog in here I don't know where he, how he found it but he did so I've seen a few frogs but not right now now this cucumber vine here has been doing very nice too now I picked some of these onions but as you can see all of these onions are now ready to to harvest and I've got some beautiful onions this year been so pleased with my onions I'll never buy those little bulbs again I'll always buy the sets I mean not I don't think they call them sets but they come in a group of young onions ready to plant that's the way to go and I wanted to show you these cantaloupe over here but look the butternut squash vines starting to flower now I planted these later in the year but man I have two of them these were given to me from my sister-in-law and it sounds like they may crash at my house this weekend for a night there's a birthday party going on which anyway that'll be good to see them so look, can you see that? Can you see that? So there's about five cantaloupes or six on this vine. So actually there's a few vines here going all over the place, but only the one that seems to go up in the air seems to be producing the cantaloupes. That's interesting to me. And I've noticed that about my cucumbers. <clears throat> when I get my cucumbers up off the ground, they seem to be producing uh, more cucumbers than, I mean, I don't see too many cucumbers on the ground usually. But look, <clears throat> you can see the squash bugs have taken out this squash plant, or at least I think it's, I killed some squash bugs last night with some spray. And I probably, of course, need to come back out and spray them again. I don't know if this one will survive, but that you guys can i forget what the this seems to be kind of more of a gourd even though i've been calling them squash look at that you see that so i didn't realize i'm so glad it is growing okay that's the backyard so this is the uh i'm calling it the mustard seed garden or the faith garden but look I had a whole bunch of mustard seed and I tilled it into the ground but look you can see all the mustard coming up but I came back here and planted some tomatoes and peppers and you see those flowers and pumpkins this is also the pumpkin patch my secret garden over on this side and you can see I threw a little bit of grass on the ground I really need to bring some uh, wood chips back here and spread them around but look this is only like what three weeks old at, Mount, <clears throat> at the most maybe four but do you see the pumpkins look and the corn coming up and then of course the flowers so that's what I've planted out here is and tomatoes <clears throat> now the tomatoes aren't doing too much but it's pretty late in the year actually um, if I would come and water see I'm not watering this area but if I watered them, they would, they would do a lot better. But look, look at that. These are pumpkins. And then you can see the corn that, I just threw some corn seed, you know, planted some corn seed in the middle of everything and um, to see what would happen. And it's doing great. I mean, it's already popping up. So in about three months, two and a half months, we may have corn back here. But look at this. And that uh, pumpkin is going into my faith garden. Look at that. You see that? Now below this, I planted a whole bunch of tomatoes in here. But I don't mind the pumpkin going up the fence. 
I'll have to anyway we'll see now pumpkins can really spread out when they start to go and if I was watering these pumpkin plants who knows how big they would be but this is all there's not been any rain back here and you can see how dry the soil is looking but this is very clay soil and uh, in fact I, I bet you if I would dig in here uh, a foot down it would be wet because there's a lot of moisture that comes down this grade okay so just letting you see what's happening back here and that watermelon of course watermelons don't do so well if you don't come out and water them but I do have some you see it and it's so far back here this is all of this stuff is on its own I think I don't I don't plan to be watering So here we have some of the things I've been harvesting over the last couple of weeks. The onions. I still have a lot of onions I need to pick in the back. And then the garlic. <clears throat> now I am a little concerned about this. Look. It looks like that garlic is wanting to start growing again already. So if it gets a little bit cooler, you know, in a month or so, I may plant out some of that garlic. You know, break it apart and look. I had a lot of my garlic just falling apart in the in the ground itself. So I've got a lot of garlic there. At least that's what I'm calling it. And then the cucumbers. Uh, these are what I had in the fridge, and of course I have this many more to pick right now. So I'm giving away cucumbers. In fact, people who come and visit, I'll I'll give you a few. And then here are the potatoes. Um, these are always a nice meal and I still have some potatoes in the front and back that still need to be picked so I should get this many and more and if I had some uh, potatoes going to you know starting to make eyes and stuff I'd plant them again because you can still get potato another harvest of potatoes and that would be awesome so onions and the garlic and onions drying Anyway, I'm really happy with the onions and the cucumbers. These are awesome cucumbers. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, garden update. Um, I was trying to take some pictures of the honeybees, and, uh, but they moved so quick. But they're really busy right now. And we didn't get rain after all. Uh, we got a few sprinkles and now the heat. In fact, you, might, you may see me sweating my just standing here you can't help but sweat but that's okay i mean that's good for you so uh i i find myself not as active in this type of heat but uh it's okay if i get out there and do a few things in it i mean it's good for me but uh and i do have some projects i need to do uh, of course the grass is all tall and my neighbor has a whole bunch of uh, branches that I can chip up and I can use around the, the garden. Uh, most of my branches I've chipped up and I've made into uh, mulch. And that's, uh, anyway, that makes me happy to, to see that happening because uh, I feel like I'm using everything, putting it back to use instead of burning it up and just getting charcoal, which that's also a good thing to keep and spread on your garden. And uh, I'm sure I'll be doing that. Um, one thing about my, my yard, it's not so large per se, but it's amazing how much uh, branches and limbs and things are produced here. I mean, it's shocking. It's shocking how much uh, yard waste I obtain. And here in a month or so, I'll be getting leaves like crazy and then I'll keep those. But even that will be shocking how many leaves I'll get. Uh, it's amazing to me. Okay, well, um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Oh, please give me a like if you've enjoyed this. Uh, it will encourage me, and I, I could use the encouragement in this heat. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.